Hey guys, in this photo editing tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit this image. You see the white, the original white is very brown and dirty. Well, I'm going to show you how to take it to this kind of beautiful looking white and also fix the skin, the red eye, and this stuff on the hair right here. We've edited this image from start to finish. So delete the edited picture and uh, we are going to fix the skin first of all so you take your spot healing brush too uh, make sure the brush size is very small and then over the areas you can see obvious pimples you fix it using the spot healing brush there's nothing much to do because the next step is going to take care of all these skin issues you are seeing on the skin the rough makeup the whole face issues you are seeing, we are going to blend the skin discoloration with the next method. Uh, the next thing we are going to do, we are going to fix this area of the hair right here. So you take your patch tool, just drag like this and then pull. It's as easy as this. You drag and pull and that's just it, very simple. Let's observe the before and the after. Here was the before. Here's the after. Next, we are going to uh, smooth the skin while retaining the texture on the skin. To do that, we use the auto fix FX. You can also use the manual frequency separation, but it takes a lot of time. So we use the auto fix FX. You just click on this action and then you play the action like this. And Voila, you get this result. Here was the before and here is the after. You see, look at the uh, hair area. Here was the before and the hair and here is the after. I don't like the effect on the hair because this action is for the skin. So we are going to max this action from the hair. So you create a layer max. If you click on this button, you are going to create a layer max, white layer max, control I on your PC or command I on your Mac to invert this layer max. Now take your brush, make sure your foreground is white. Now you are going to paint on the skin areas to review the effect of the action we just applied. Increase your flow to around 30. Just brush over the skin area where you want to review this effect. Just like this. I can see that why the action has smoothened the skin, it still retains the texture. Almost all the textures, all the textures on the skins are retained. I don't forget you can do this more than one time. So if you flatten your image, you come to the auto fix FX again. Now you click on it for a second time. And you are going to get a more impactful result. You see it as this fine sharpening and smoothening to the skin all at once you are still going to max this out click create a layer max ctrl i to invert the layer max and then brush over areas you want to review this effect this time make sure that you don't brush on the hair or the eyelashes just on the skin areas like this to review this beautiful effect and you can take a look at it before and the after. Here was the before. And here is the after. The effect is super amazing. It retains the texture. Why it evens the skin tone and removes the blemishes and the discoloration before, after. So to get the auto fix effects, check the link in the description, the first link in the description or the link in the pinned comment to get this right now if you are willing to contribute just one dollar to this channel you get this amazing action that's going to save you time improve your retouching and give you amazing results while you support the channel so that i have more time to make more amazing tutorials the next step is to fix this the clothes the brown color on the white clothes 
And to do that, we are going to, first of all, let me fix this little patch here. So you just cycle around like this with the patch tool and then move to a clean area. And that is it. So we are going to duplicate the background layer. We are going to go to filter, camera raw filter. So to fix these uh, color issues, the brownish color in the skin tone, we are just going to move the temperature like this. So you see, you can see that this is affecting the skin tone. We'll fix that in Photoshop pretty soon and it's very easy to do. So just by moving the temperature down like this, our skin tone has gone from this to this. To bring back details into the glutes, you are going to reduce the highlights. I'm going to reduce the white so you see more details in the glutes. That's super amazing. Then we increase the brightness a little bit. Now we can add a little bit of green like this to get this beautiful result. Here was the before and here's the after. If you've noticed on this channel, most of the things I do are really easy. Maybe I've been using a difficult method to do it. On this channel, I'll show you the easiest method to do this. So you click on OK right now to get back into Photoshop. And now we are going to max this effect from the skin. We'll do skin tone correction on its own. We'll now allow the effect to affect the skin tone. So we are going to add a layer max. Take your brush, make sure the foreground is black this time because we are going to remove the effects from the skin. Now we are bringing the skin tone back. It's looking too yellowish, but don't worry, I'll show you how to fix that. And the method I'm going to show you, you can use it on all your skin issues. It's super easy. So we are going to remove the effects from the skin. If you want to see where this max has been applied, you press the forward slash key on your keyboard, and you are going to see this red overlay. If you press the forward slash key, you see, press it, the foreground is going to change. So you change it back to black and then paint on the skin like this. So now we can work on the skin tone separately. Obviously this skin tone is looking too yellowish and not desirable for a dark skin model. So to fix that, we are just going to create a hue saturation adjustment. Select the skin area, which is in the reds. And now we can add a little bit of magenta by moving it to the left. And then we are going to desaturate it like this. We are going to darken it a little bit like this. So you can see the before and the after. So that is the effect right now. Since it's just the red, we don't need to max because there's no red anywhere else on this image. So the next thing we are going to do, we are still going to create another color adjustment, which is a selective color adjustment. And now we can target the reds. We are going to add cyan to the reds. And let's zoom in because we are going to add cyan to the reds like this. And a little bit of blue. If you see that the blue is too much, we are just going to reduce it like this, a little bit of it before and after. We are trying to get this beautiful melanin skin effect on the model, so that's what we are trying to do. So add a little bit of green so that the magenta is not too much. Simple as this, here was before and here is the after. It's already looking amazing. We still do an overall color grading on this image to get the best result and a more even result. But before that, let's uh, whiten the eye. So we just come here. Um, you now create eye whitening action. Um, it's very easy for everybody to whiten the eye. And I know most of you know how to whiten the eye already. If you are finding difficult, if you are finding that difficult, please let me know in the comment section so that I can make a free eye whitening action for you guys. So we are going to play the eye whitening action. Take our brush, make sure the foreground is white. We are going to paint on the eye to remove any reddish or yellowish effect on the eye so that we can get a white eye and make our model look more beautiful. It's as easy as this. Here is the before and here is the after. So right now we are going to create a stamp visible layer. Control Shift Alternate E or Command Shift Option 
E to create a stand visible layer. And we are going to go to filter, camera raw filter. Right here in camera raw filter, we are going to add pop to our image. To do that, we are going to increase the contrast like this. And we are going to increase the blacks. Now we are going to increase the whites also. We are going to reduce the temperature again a little bit. We are going to add texture a little bit, clarity and the haze. Now we are going to sharpen our image in the detail section, increase the sharpening a little bit and leave the rest settings at default, the radius, the detail and the maxing. And now you can see the before and the after. Now it's now looking too sharp, so we are going to reduce the opacity, but that is going to be in Photoshop. So you click OK to bring our image here like this. Change the blend mode from normal to luminance. So we are going to reduce the opacity all the way to 50. Here was the before and here is the after. You can also tone the black by creating a selective color adjustment. Now you come to the black and then you can add cyan to the black add a yellow to the black you see the values you are moving are not over moving it that's one mistake amateurs do they over move the values i becomes too obvious and make the image look artificial and not nice at all so we just move a little bit below 10 so plus 4 minus 3 let me increase the black a little bit like this now let's see how much we have done take a look at the before and the after here was the before and here is the after we've done a lot for this image already finally to make the model look more attractive we can liquefy so we create a stand visible layer Control shift alternate e or command shift option e if you are using either a pc or a mac come to filter now you come to filter liquefy just to adjust some parts of our body this is optional so you make sure you are using the forward warp tool and now you can just give her a little bit of shape like this. Make sure it's very light, don't overdo it. Especially, it should be on the client's request. So don't just go and do it without letting them know because some people, they don't want you to deform their shapes. So in the preview here was the before and here is the after. I just adjusted the glutes at the back here a little bit to make the shape of her waist to come out like it naturally is. So you see a little bit of the before and the after. From now we can go on to apply our lots. I'm not giving any lots for this video, but I might give a lot in the next one. If you guys want that, make sure you like this video right now and leave a comment. Don't forget what gave us this flawless skin. We use the auto fix FS action. So if you've not gotten it, check the link in the description to get it right now. This was before applying it and this is the after. The skin result it gives is amazing. There's texture on the skin and the skin has been smoothed also. So if you want a tutorial on dodging and burning, let me know in the comment section. If there's any problem you're facing in your photo editing, let me know in the comment section so that I can make a tutorial for it for you on this channel ASAP. I'm happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.